for everybody from beginners to advanced. Now it's going to be more aimed at your beginners and intermediate squatters. So a lot of people are not able to perform your traditional barbell back squat due to a lot of factors. So you can have shoulder complications, we can get too much hip flexion, so too much leaning forward. Um, some people aren't able to squat down too low and it can be simply too advanced for someone first time or coming into the gym. So your beginner coming into the gym, your barbell back squat can be too difficult for them to do. It can become too complicated and it can also put, come across as quite intimidating. So the goblet squat is a great exercise to um, substitute that with. So I'm just going to perform the goblet squat first and then I'm going to talk through. Okay guys, as you've seen there, I'm using a single dumbbell and I'm going to hold in that goblet position. When I'm holding the dumbbell, I want two points of contact with the two heads of the dumbbell. One on my sternum and one on the top of my stomach. And that's keeping the dumbbell in quite close to my body. I'm also performing the squat on a slant board today and that will allow me to stay a lot more upright. So when people squat, they flex very forward. So this um, intervention of a slant board is putting my feet into a plantar flex position and allows me to remain upright during my squat, hold that position and drive back up through my heels. So again guys, just to recap, if you're a beginner to squat and can't or haven't or cannot master the barbell back squat, then resort back to your goblet squat, get strong from there and then progress on in the future.